It's been well established that low vitamin D levels can jeopardize health, leading to immune system malfunctions and a higher risk of cancer. However, recent research on vitamin D out of the University of California San Diego has found that getting enough vitamin D is crucial to preventing type 2 diabetes in around 80% of cases. Can you imagine how much money we would save on healthcare costs if we just had sufficient vitamin D levels throughout society? Type 2 diabetes has become an epidemic in the United States, affecting a staggering 10% of the population. That's right, over 30 million adults now have this devastating disease, and 84 million have prediabetes symptoms. Yet, the simple act of getting enough vitamin D, something we should all be doing anyway, could make all the difference in avoiding this condition. Higher vitamin D levels associated with better blood sugar control. For the 12-year cohort study, 900 participants were assessed for their vitamin D levels and whether or not they developed diabetes. None of the participants had diabetes at the beginning of study. Participants with 30 nanograms per milliliter, nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D had only one-third the risk of developing diabetes as compared with those who showed vitamin D levels under 30 nanograms per milliliter. Those with the highest vitamin D concentrations of 50 nanograms per milliliter or more showed an even lower risk for type 2 diabetes, they were five times less likely to get the disease than those with low vitamin D. The research results were published in the journal PLOS1. Vitamin D levels are far from the only factor in the development of diabetes. Genetics, in a small way, dietary and lifestyle choices all play a role. High doses of vitamin D can bring profound health benefits. The sun is the best source for vitamin D, but it can also be obtained through diet and, most importantly, supplementation, especially for those that are deficient. The National Academy of Medicine recommends taking 600 IU of vitamin D per day, however, much higher amounts are recommended for those with a deficiency or living in cloudy or higher latitude climates, which included most people throughout North America. Taking amounts ranging from 4,000 IU to 10,000 IU has brought great health results to many. Even higher amounts have been taken without adverse side effects, however, a healthcare professional or holistic doctor should be consulted before starting a high-dose vitamin D regimen. Reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes and cancer with proper vitamin D supplementation. Getting sufficient vitamin D is also associated with a lowered risk of many types of cancer, including breast cancer and liver cancer. The key point is that vitamin D strengthens the immune system and supports cellular repair. It is also highly beneficial to cell division, reproduction and DNA functioning. Ultimately, type 2 diabetes is triggered by many factors, including high blood sugar resulting from poor dietary choices and insufficient exercise. While taking vitamin D should not be the only step taken against the disease, it is a significant part of any intelligent health routine. Top foods for calcium and vitamin D. Your body needs calcium and vitamin D. Are you getting enough? Many people don't. The best way to get more calcium is from your diet. You probably already know that dairy products, such as milk, cheese, and yogurt, provide calcium. Other foods that are high in calcium include spinach, kale, okra, collards, soybeans, white beans, some fish, like sardines, salmon, perch, and rainbow trout. Foods that are calcium fortified, such as some orange juice, oatmeal, and breakfast cereal. Foods that provide vitamin D include fatty fish, like tuna, mackerel, and salmon. Foods fortified with vitamin D, like some dairy products, orange juice, soy milk, and cereals. Beef liver. Cheese. Egg yolks. To get vitamin D from food, fish is a good option. 3 ounces of cooked salmon has more than 450 international units I, U. How much do you need? Here's how much calcium and vitamin D you need every day, according to the Institute of Medicine. Calcium. Children 1 to 3 years old, 700 mg. Children 4 to 8 years old, 1000 mg. Children 9 to 18 years old, 1300 mg. Adults 19 to 50 to 1000 mg. Women 51 to 70 to 1200 mg. Men 51 to 70 to 1000 mg. 
Women and men 71 and over, 1,200 mg. Vitamin D. Age 1 to 70 to 600 IU. Age 71 and older, 800 IU. Your doctor may recommend higher levels of calcium and vitamin D, especially if you aren't getting enough of them or are at risk for osteoporosis. Lower your risk of diabetes and heart disease by eating tree nuts. The fear of diabetes and heart disease can cause many people to think that fat is the enemy. Nothing could be further from the truth, especially when it comes to eating healthy fats like tree nuts. You see, there are many misguided theories out there suggesting that nuts have fat, therefore they are bad for you. And, while nuts do contain fat, they are good, non-toxic, fats, which actually help people to lose excess body weight, avoid heart disease and even balance blood sugar levels. Looking for a delicious, healthy snack? Tree nuts are the way to go and, yes, it's even backed by science. Lower your risk of diabetes, eating nuts will lower blood fats and sugars, study reveals. Nuts are a good combination of minerals, vitamins, proteins and unsaturated fats that are essential in lowering insulin resistance, inflammation and bad LDL cholesterol. A recent study carried out at St. Michael's Hospital, Toronto and published in the BMJ Open Journal found that consumption of tree nuts resulted in blood sugar and triglycerides reduction, two of the five metabolic syndrome indicators. An individual is said to have metabolic syndrome should they have three of these. High triglycerides. High blood sugar. High blood pressure. Excess weight around the waist. Low levels of HDL, high density lipoprotein, Dr. John Sievenpiper, the lead researcher said that the biggest drop in blood sugar and triglycerides was observed in persons who made tree nuts part of their diet when compared to those under the control diet. He additionally mentioned that despite nuts being high in calories, they at no point inclined towards adversely impacting the other metabolic syndrome risk factors hence further watering down the theory that nuts are bad for your health. Patients in this study ate only 50 grams of nuts on a daily basis. Also worth noting, tree nuts are included in the Mediterranean and dietary approaches to stop hypertension dash, diet, which is known to help reduce LDL low-density lipoprotein cholesterol and prevent heart disease. What are some good examples of healthy tree nuts? Pine nuts, pecans, walnuts, hickory nuts, cashews, Brazil nuts, almonds, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, chestnuts, and pistachios are great examples of tree nuts. If you want to control blood sugar and triglycerides blood fats, effectively, make sure that you include 50 grams of tree nuts in your diet every day. By the way, 50 grams is just 1.76 ounces per day. So, you see, small changes to the diet can have a significant positive impact on your life. And, finally, in case you're wondering, the best choice would be organic, sprouted nuts, since non-organic tree nuts are loaded with toxic chemicals known to trigger inflammation, cancer cell growth, hormonal imbalances plus a range of digestive issues. 10 Tips to Help Prevent Type 2 Diabetes You can help reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes by understanding your risk and making changes to your lifestyle. Common risk factors include increased weight, blood pressure, cholesterol and triglyceride, blood fat, levels. Changing the habits of a lifetime isn't easy, but it's worth the effort. Here are some tips to help you reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes. Manage your weight. Excess body fat, particularly if stored around the abdomen, can increase the body's resistance to the hormone insulin. This can lead to type 2 diabetes. Exercise regularly. Moderate physical activity on most days of the week helps manage weight, reduce blood glucose levels and may also improve blood pressure and cholesterol. Eat a balanced, healthy diet. Reduce the amount of fat in your diet, especially saturated and trans fats. Eat more fruit, vegetables and high-fiber foods. Cut back on salt. Limit takeaway and processed foods. Convenience meals are usually high in salt, fat and kilojoules. It's best to cook for yourself using fresh ingredients whenever possible. Limit your alcohol intake. Too much alcohol can lead to weight gain and may increase your blood pressure and triglyceride levels. Men should have no more than two standard drinks a day and women should have no more than one. Quit smoking. Smokers are twice as likely to develop diabetes as non-smokers. Control your blood pressure. 
Most people can do this with regular exercise, a balanced diet and by keeping a healthy weight. In some cases, you might need medication prescribed by your doctor. Reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. Diabetes and cardiovascular disease have many risk factors in common, including obesity and physical inactivity. See your doctor for regular checkups. As you get older, it's a good idea to regularly check your blood glucose, blood pressure and blood cholesterol levels, 